Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm so perplexed with just one breath, I'm locked in Oh man, oh man, oh man, I'm so perplexed, oh that is almost shocking I know, I know, you know, you're scared, your heart, your mind, your soul, your body do is we were given an investigation about how a guy was going around the turn and he was going a little bit too fast so he skidded and smashed into a car and they both landed off lower onto by the beach so we have to figure out how fast he was going initially before the turn and we have to prove whether or not he was either violating the law by going over the speed limit or if the lady who said that he smashed into her car if she was actually correct so so for this project we looked at um, a little model and kind of took measurements on that and it's a model of a car crash that happened so at f so first we found um, the skid mark length and um, the height of the embankment that everything fell off of and then the distance of the collision, how far it was from the embankment. And we used all that information to kind of work backwards the scene of the like collision. So we used um, projectile motion e equations to figure out the velocity of the entire of the two cars colliding together as they fell off of the embankment. What we're doing with this project is to bring a real world connection to what we're teaching here in physics. So part of what STEM is supposed to include to develop STEM literacy, not only are we teaching the science content, but students are taking an active role in learning a whole assortment of other skills. So part of this project was to develop their communication skills, their collaboration, their creativity, and their um, critical thinking skills, their problem solving. The top two skills that employers are looking for right now, number one would be um, candidates' ability to work in a team, and number two would be problem solving. So this project that we designed through the Define STEM portal was all about taking what they knew through an entire semester of physics and applying it to a real life situation. So this, we made a um, pretend setup here of an accident scene where students had to go through and use what they knew about physics to sort of work this in reverse and figure out what the vehicles were doing before the collision. We were able to set this up through a portal called Define STEM, which Parkland has access to. So we were able to make one comprehensive site where students were able to see an explanation for the project, for what they had to do, for what products they had to produce, and they were also able to look at rubrics on how they're going to be graded. Another part of this is for students to self-evaluate. So for the end of the project, students had to grade themselves on how they performed, how they contributed to the team as well. So it also enabled us to put a series of instructional videos and literature that helped guide students through the project.